lightsaber back again with another video today I want to talk about Vidal um, which is looking good uh, but before we do let me just remind you guys that the moon day moon farm pre-sale is still ongoing 10 days left all right guys free cents a token at the moment um, get over and get yourself some moon farm before that runs out okay also I want to let you guys know that the competition for 010 is still running it was about seven days left from the 24th of november so i believe that ends on the 31st all right guys um you can earn rewards on 010 for providing liquidity and they also have their nft which is unbearable and there's a hundred only of those all right and those get airdrops for people providing liquidity on 010 for at least 21 days or something like that all right guys so keep your eyes fixed for that and uh, maybe you can win yourself one of these all right but let's get into the video and talk about Bidal okay so Bidal is uh, moving in the right direction all right now I don't know how to use the curving tool on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a nice big fat pink line for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about in terms of this big curved trajectory that it seems to be moving on at the moment okay so if Bidal can continue in this sort of pattern formation that will definitely be bullish for Bidal uh, we also talked about the fact that there was a small um, curve here as well we just draw that as well you can see this curve pattern is quite bullish as well uh, yesterday uh, well not yesterday the other day we talked about it before it would continue up there we've got that drop where it held this support and it's now continued to the upside we also talked about the fact that we had this impulse over here and it's, it didn't put in a higher high okay but it started in the right direction we've got the volume coming in we've got that impulse it put in a higher low okay so we've got a higher low over here and then i said we needed to see a higher high after that okay so we now have the higher high and now what we need to see is a higher low we can see this pullback here obviously whether it will come down further and put in a you know a little bit more of a low as long as it stays above this level then we're seeing a higher low all right i also would like to see it take out this level as you can see there is some resistance over here that it has fallen back under at the moment okay but i wouldn't be surprised if it does kind of get some strength and come back over this line to uh, and, and, and hold this level uh, we need to see it hold that level and take out some of these higher areas and begin to make a decisive move um, to the upside all right so let's just mark uh, let's just mark this level out roughly okay so we need to see and maintain some strength within this level and begin to make some breaking moves towards this level over here there are a few levels of resistance that may hold it back that's a very thin level of resistance there and the ultimate target for this move will be around here and then we'd have to wait and see whether we can really push to the upside considering um, we are in times where the bitcoin is going up okay ethereum's going up and um, everything seems to be moving in the right direction and hopefully that will drag the old coins up uh, the old coins up with it uh, normally what you see is a uh, you get the higher caps uh, money will begin to flow out of bitcoin into the higher caps out of the higher caps into the mid caps and then out of the mid caps into the low caps uh by now does look like it's in like a kind of pattern that would benefit from that especially um you know if people um are waiting to buy in uh on a confirmed uptrend if this puts in another higher low and then another higher high that will potentially mean there is kind of in a trend reversal pattern all right let's just get some of these lines get rid of some of these lines sorry and show you what else i am seeing on the chart okay and remember this is all without indicators okay this is just based on chart pattern all right so what i can see here is a potential adam and eve reversal pattern okay so obviously you know these tend to break to the upside so that of course too is bullish all right guys so it's about time i bought some good news about buy now it is looking good and um you know like i said we need to see it put in a higher low now and then continue to the upside and then that could definitely be good 
for the buy down holders okay if we go into the telegram group uh, let's just get out of that and go back here buy down did put an announcement out to say that they were giving out some more socks congratulations but anyway uh, the first token burn will begin tomorrow okay the 29th of November so another bullish indicator for buy down okay 29th of November will be the first quarter of the tokens that are going to get burnt from the 1.35 billion tokens that are going to get burnt over the next month okay only seven days later the second burn will take uh, will take place on December the 6th a week after that you'll get the third burn on December the 13th and then after that finally on 24th Christmas Eve you will get um, all the tokens would have been burnt by then or 1.35 billion of them so it's definitely good to see uh, the buy down chart um, making that um, uh, bullish kind of move to the upside even before the token burn because that will obviously help towards you know price action in the coming days and weeks all right guys so that is really all I've got for you for now okay um, good day for buy down uh, or, or could be you know next week could be definitely bullish for buy down and you know obviously if we're looking at December as a whole uh, people are going to probably find more into it a little bit uh, and and you know I, I do expect people to do that to be honest I mean when the token ban was announced um, we saw I think it may have been this impulse that, that um, came because of that announcement I'm, I'm not sure okay but it's definitely um, a cause for FOMO, a token burn, all right? Especially considering so many people have been waiting for it for so long, all right? We buy down currently at a price, it's back up over RCO price, so that's obviously good news, all right? So I would like to see this continue up uh, for the sake of the buy down holders. So yeah, that's really all I've got for you for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Links are in the description for all the social media and all that stuff. Patreon, okay, that gives you access to Telegram group. Alright, and I'll see you guys in the next video.